Hey everybody, my name is Mason Drum. Thanks for watching. Today I'm making a wooden toy camera for my one-year-old daughter. It's gonna be a Christmas present, and it's inspired by the camera that I actually shoot with every day. It's the Fujifilm X100 series camera. Uh, so a rangefinder style. Should be a lot of fun to make. I've never done anything like this before, so it'll be a learning process. Um, let's go look at the designs. So we're gonna be able to have like a rotating aperture ring. Um, one of the dial, there's gonna be a dial on the top that will move. And then also on the front of the camera, I want there to be a something that actually rotates that'll kind of jut out of the front. Very much like the X100 uh, series. So it's gonna be made out of three pieces of wood. Uh, we're gonna have sycamore, which is right here. And I bought all this wood at a local, uh, at a local wood shop. Okay, I finally made it. Sycamore for the part of the body. Wang or wing, I'm not really for sure, for the uh, where presumably like the leather grip would be. Um, so a much darker piece. And then for the highlights, like fun parts, because this is a toy camera, um, we got Purple Heart, which is a nice hardwood and it's a really vibrant uh, color. So that should make it look pretty fun. So one of the features that I want on this uh, camera is I also want it to be a rattle. Uh, and so, if you were to look at like this uh, inside view here, I want to put some things like pieces of wood or marbles or something inside it. So that way, if my daughter shakes it, uh, it'll make a sound. So I'm going to cut out some negative space like right here in the middle, uh, and that'll allow me to put whatever you know nuts or bolts or whatever it's going to make the sound inside. So hopefully, uh, that'll work. After I do that, I will be able to glue these three pieces together and then let them sit, and I sh they should be good for me to be able to start shaping once I make the other parts. Okay, so what I need to do now is find something to put in here, right? That uh, whenever it's shaken, uh, will make a good noise. This is some washers and bolts. Yeah. It's a shaker, so it'll it'll be like a rattle. It's well, how about how about a bunch of BBs? Do you have BBs? Oh yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Dad's coming to the rescue with BBs. So basically we're going to let that sit for a little bit and I'm going to move on to the next part which is uh, cutting this to shape. So we'll see, see how that goes. Alright, so I just got done cutting the top and bottom pieces. Um, so far, so good. Pretty excited about this. Uh, I now need to start making some of the uh, parts that are going to be going inside these. Alright, cool. That's good. So, just got done drilling this hole with the Forster bit, and I have the pre cut dial. Should be able to fit it right in. So, that way, eventually, this will be laying flush on another piece of wood, like, this, like so. Um, and you should be able to turn it. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's put this in there. And 
and uh, starting to look like a cute little camera. Um, I still have to make this part right here to go right there. And then I gotta cut this guy, cut a hole out in there. What do we do? What, 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 did, what happened? Because you might lock it up. Let's see where we're at now. So that's it everybody, uh, Fujifilm X100 inspired toy wooden camera. Had a lot of fun making it. I had never done anything like this before and I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah, if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I also recently made a topographical map of Hyrule from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Check that out, I'll put that up at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you later. So this looks pretty cool. Everything seems pretty uh, solid, sturdy. That's what it looks like. I pressed the date, 12-25-19, uh, of my daughter's first Christmas. She will be getting this on that date, so I thought it would be kind of a fun place. You know, sometimes you see it.